The history of gaming and gaming devices is a fascinating journey that takes us through a myriad of inventions, products, and cultural phenomena that have shaped the industry into the worldwide powerhouse it is today. From humble beginnings in physics laboratories to the multi-billion dollar industry we now know, gaming has evolved exponentially over the past six decades. The early beginnings, the 1950s to 1960s. The root of electronic gaming can be traced back to the 1950s, when computer scientists and engineers began to experiment with creating interactive programs on early computers. In 1952, British computer scientist Alexander S. Douglas developed OXO, a single computer game that simulated a game of tic-tac-toe. This marks the first known instance of a video game created for a computer. However, it wasn't until 1958 that the first true video game emerged, Tennis for Two. William Higginbotham, a physicist at the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York, created a simple tennis simulation on an oscilloscope screen. The game was a hit at the laboratory's annual visitor's day and is considered one of the first video games. The 1960s saw a variety of computer games developed at universities and research institutions, mostly as experimental in computer programming and artificial intelligence. One notable example is Space War, developed by Steve Russell and colleagues at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1962. Space War is a two-player game that featured spaceships battling in the gravity field of a central star. This game would later inspire Nolan Bushnell, one of the founding fathers of the video game industry. The Rise of the Arcade, the 1970s the 1970s marked a significant turning point in the history of gaming, as the first commercial video games and gaming devices were introduced. In 1971, Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney, both engineers at Ampex Corporation, founded Atari and developed the world's first commercially successful arcade game, Computer Space. This game was inspired by the earlier Space War and was housed in a sleek, futuristic cabinet. However, the true revolution came in 1972 with the release of Atari's Pong, an electronic table tennis game. Pong took the world by storm, with its simple and addictive gameplay captivating audiences across the globe. Pong paved the way for the arcade boom of the 1970s and laid the foundation for the video game industry as a whole. During the 1970s, video arcades began popping up in shopping malls, bowling alleys, and amusement parks, featuring an array of games, including pinball machines, electromechanical games, and video games. Some notable arcade titles from this era include Space Invaders from 1978, which became a cultural phenomenon and later inspired a wealth of merchandise, and Asteroids in 1979, which featured vector graphics and allowed players to enter their initials for high scores. The birth of the home console, the 1970s to 1980s. The success of the arcade scene soon led to the rise of home gaming consoles. The first home console, the Magnavox Odyssey, was released in 1972. Developed by Ralph Bayer, the father of video games, the Odyssey was a simple device that played a variety of basic games. Atari soon entered the home console market with the Atari 2600, released in 1977. The Atari 2600 played cartridge-based games and featured a joystick controller, making it one of the first successful home gaming consoles. The console's success was due in large part to its extensive library of games, including classics such as Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Pitfall. However, the rapid growth of the video game industry in the late 1970s and early 1980s led to an oversaturated market. A flood of low-quality games and the introduction of competing home computers contributed to the video game crash of 1983. Many companies went bankrupt, and the industry was left reeling. The Resurgence, Nintendo, and the 1980s The video game industry began to recover in the mid-1980s thanks in large part to the efforts of Japanese company Nintendo. In 1985, Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System in North America, which revitalized the home console market. The NES featured improved graphics and sound, as well as a controller with a directional pad and buttons. Nintendo also introduced a new standard for game development, requiring third-party developers to obtain a license and adhere to strict quality control guidelines. This helped to prevent the oversaturation of low-quality games that contributed to the crash of 1983. The NES was home to many iconic games that would become industry staples, including Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, and Metroid. The console's success solidified Nintendo's position as a dominant force in the gaming industry and paved the way for future consoles and gaming devices. 
The console wars and the rise of handhelds, the 1990s. The 1990s saw fierce competition in the console market, with Nintendo, Sega, and later Sony battling for dominance. Sega entered the scene with the Sega Genesis in 1989, offering a 16-bit console with advanced graphics and speed. The Genesis was home to popular titles such as Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, and Golden Axe. Nintendo responded with the release of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES, in 1991, which boasted improved graphics and sound capabilities. The SNES featured many memorable games, including Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Donkey Kong Country. In 1994, Sony entered the console market with the PlayStation, a 32-bit system that utilized CD-ROMs for game storage. The PlayStation's advanced technology and extensive library of games, including titles such as Final Fantasy VII, Crash Bandicoot, and Metal Gear Solid, allowed it to surpass both the SNES and the Sega Genesis in sales. The 1990s also saw the rise of handheld gaming devices, with Nintendo's Game Boy leading the charge. Released in 1989, the Game Boy was an 8-bit handheld console that featured a monochrome screen and a library of games that included the wildly popular Tetris and Pokemon titles. The Game Boy success spawned several iterations, including the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. The Modern Era The 2000s to Present the new millennium brought with it a host of advancements in gaming technology and devices. The console wars continued with the release of the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Nintendo GameCube, all of which boasted improved graphics, sound, and gameplay capabilities. The gaming landscape was further revolutionized by the introduction of online gaming and digital distribution platforms such as Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network, which allowed players to download games and play with others around the world. In 2006, Nintendo once again disrupted the market with the release of the Wii, a console that featured motion controls and a focus on casual gaming. The Wii's accessible gameplay and innovative titles such as Wii Sports and Wii Fit made it a commercial success and broadened the gaming audience. The rise of mobile gaming also significantly impacted the industry, with the introduction of smartphones and tablets offering a new platform for gaming. Mobile games such as Angry Birds, Candy Crush Saga, and Pokemon Go became cultural phenomena, appealing to a wide range of players and generating significant revenue. Today, the gaming industry continues to evolve, with virtual reality and augmented reality technologies offering new and immersive gaming experiences. The rise of esports has also showcased the competitive nature of gaming, with professional players and teams competing for millions of dollars in prize money. The history of gaming and gaming devices is a testament to the power of innovation and the passion of gamers around the world. From the early days of Pong and Space War to the modern era of esports and virtual reality, the gaming industry has come a long way and shows no signs of slowing down.